That's the solution, my brothers and sisters. The pro- and when you speak to these jama'at, to these groups and these parties that are out there, they want you to now stand outside of Tesco and Sainsbury's. Happened in Birmingham, in this city that you're sitting in now. I think it was two weeks ago. In Ramadan. Was, it was, yeah, it was in Ramadan. It was in Ramadan. They went to Sainsbury's in Birmingham city center. Mutabar Rijat. Women uncovered. No hijab, no headscarf, nothing. T-shirts on with the Palestinian flag. That's two errors straight away. No hijab, and you're waving the Palestinian flag. Did Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa wave the Palestinian flag? Was that the flag of Nabuwa? That we waved the flag of nationalism? So now they're there outside Sainsbury's. Women, men, men clean shaven, Levi's jeans. Levi's. Levi? What is he, Muslim? Jew. Jewish name. Biblical name. Maybe he's a Christian. Allahu alam. But you see them now outside there with their Nike t-shirts and their Nike baseball caps and their Adidas tops and their Reebok trainers and whatever else that they're wearing. Maybe Reebok is not trendy these days. I don't know. Whatever they're wearing. And they're there demonstrating for what? Palestine. La ilaha illallah. Free Palestine. Free Palestine. Waving Palestinian flags. Then they enter into Sainsbury's, lie on their back and look in the sky. <laughs> what the ceiling? For what? Pretending to be dead. Pretending to be dead. With, 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 with sheets of paper on their chest saying what? Such and such people have been killed in Palestine this week or last week or whatever. Pretending to be dead, and they're saying we are raising the awareness for Palestine and stopping Sainsbury's from selling the products that, have been, that, that are imported from Israel or they are made by Jewish companies or something of that nature. You're wearing Nike! You're wearing Nike! You're wearing clothes that are made by those people. You don't see the contradiction in your behavior. You want them to stop selling dates? Now, I don't advocate myself. I don't advocate the buying of Israeli dates. That's not my point here. And I'm not advocating that anyone go out and purchase Jewish products. Or Israeli products, should I say, rather. But the point is here, where's your aql? You're there demonstrating. Not from the sunnah. You're there mutabarrijat. You are men standing there without any sign of the sunnah upon your body. No beard, no sign of Islam upon your body. And you think that wearing a baseball cap that says Palestine upon it is a sign of your Islam. You're there with Shia, with communists, with socialists, with all grades and shades of the people of Bid'a. And you're screaming and shouting outside of Sainsbury's or Tesco's or Morrison's or wherever they are. Up and down the country they were doing it. They had a demonstration in Bradford, I think it was, outside of McDonald's. Now, to my knowledge, unless someone here knows better, McDonald's is an American company. Not a company that was set up in Tel Aviv, to my knowledge, unless someone here knows better. But now they're demonstrating outside of McDonald's, don't buy Coca-Cola or, you know, a fish burger or a beef burger or anything from McDonald's. Why? Because somehow McDonald's are supporting the war effort against the Muslims in Israel. They are supporting the Jewish state against the Palestinians. So now you ask them the question. Tesco's. Just take the example of Tesco's. As a percentage of what they sell, that is from the Zionist state, or from published in, or, or manufactured in, in, in the Zionist state of Israel, as a percentage compared to the products that are imported from Muslim countries. Countries such as Morocco. Countries such as Indonesia, Malaysia, Bangladesh, Egypt, and Yemen, and other places like this. As a percentage, how many of those products are Israeli as compared to coming from Muslim countries? What do you think? Would you agree that the majority of the products that they sell 
far outweigh what they import from Israel, whether it be olive oil or whether it be dates. Just look at the garments when you walk into Morrison's or when you walk into Asda. Made in China, made in Bangladesh, made in Pakistan, made in Indonesia, made in Malaysia. All of them, predominantly, mostly China. So now, when you boycott the whole of Tesco, all of Tesco is boycotted, and Morrison's, and anything else that they want to boycott. All of that is boycotted, you are necessarily boycotting also what? All the products that are imported from where? Muslim countries. Agreed or not agreed? So now, one of the brothers, he said that he went to Tesco's in Birmingham. He said, I just went in in Ramadan to purchase some things to take it home. And he said, brothers, are, there are Muslims standing outside the gates. The brother, you can't go in there. It's haram. <laughs> he said, what's haram? He said, you can't buy from there. They sell Jewish. They sell products that are imported from Israel. He said, he said and they sell wine. And they send whiskey. And, they, and you were shopping there last week, yes or no? He said, yes. So he said, you were shopping there last week. And they were selling wine and whiskey and cigarettes and porno magazines, pornographic magazines, but then it was all right. Now, because they're selling dates from Israel, it's not all right? He said, it's not all right. He said, well, don't buy the product. Just like you don't buy whiskey and wine and pornographic magazines, inshallah. All right? And you don't buy any of the other haram. Go in there, and if you don't want to buy Jewish products, don't buy Jewish products. Don't buy a product made in Pakistan and go and feed a poor family in Pakistan by buying the product. Or Bangladesh, or Malaysia, or Indonesia, or Morocco. Use your aqal. But look how these jama'at, how they mobilize the people. This is the point of their tahazzub and their hizbiyah and their partisanship. That if we get so many people under our banner, we'll mobilize them. So a text message goes out. Don't buy products from Marks and Spencer, Sainsbury's, Morrison's, Asda. And then someone sent out, actually Asda was a mistake. You can go to Asda. Then someone said, I've got them. And I screenshotted them. What's up? Then someone said, no, actually, Asda as well. So someone said, Asda. Someone said, not Asda. Then someone said, no, Asda as well. Then he said, I'll give you... Th-. And then he said, a point. The reason why Asda... One of our brothers tried to get into Asda. One of our brothers tried to get into Asda using a free... And he was wearing a free Palestine t-shirt. And they prevented him. So no Muslim should ever shop at Asda. Because they wouldn't let him in with a Palestinian flag and a free Palestine t-shirt on. This is sunnah. This is the deen of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Alaykum bima araftum min sunnati wa sunnati al-khulafa al-rashidin al-mahdiyin min ba'di abdu alayha bin nawajid. Follow my what you know of my sunnah, the Prophet said. Where is this from his sunnah? And the sunnah of the rightly guided caliphs. And hold on to that with your molar teeth. That's what Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said. Now let's see them. Next week. Are they still going to be boycotting Tesco? The week after. Are they still going to be boycotting Morrison's? So now when you see them walking into Morrison's or Marks and Spencer's or they walk into Asda or Tesco, these supermarket chains up and down the country, when you say, say, Akhi, MashaAllah, Palestine's liberated. <laughs> Palestine free now, MashaAllah, it must be free. He said, why, why, what's happened? Well, you're shopping here, it must be free. Because you were telling us not to shop here because they sell Israeli goods. Now I see you shopping here. Is that is halas? Is free now? Palestine free? Look how short term their goals are. Short sight, short sighted, no vision. When they make a principle, the principle lasts for a few days and then it's over. They used to do the same thing before. They did the same thing before. When the when the previous in the eighties and the nineties, they used to do the same thing before. Yes, at your discretion, if you don't want to buy an Israeli good, no problem. This is between you, from Minbabu Wa'r, from the bar of piety, you want to say, you know, I don't want to give them any money. No problem, that's between you and them. But then to demonstrate and to boycott everything that comes out of that, why don't they boycott their iPhones? 
Why don't they throw them in the bin? Why don't they burn their Nike hoodie tops and their Nike trainers? Who funds the Israeli military? We can't hear you. America. To the tune of what? Somewhere in the... Re- how, who, how much? Three million? 3.2 billion. 3.2 billion a year. Direct funding to what? To the needy in Palestine? No, this is direct funding to the Israeli Defense Force. Direct funding to the Israeli military. So who's the biggest funder of Israel? Who? The US. So should we boycott Morrison's the imports from China and Malaysia and Bangladesh and Morocco and Egypt and Maldives and wherever else the tuna fish comes from? Or is it, in their eyes, I'm not, I'm not calling to this by the way, I don't think you should boycott the US and their products at all. But I'm using their train of thought. So now, if you were going to use your aql about what is going to benefit, you'd say actually, Every Muslim should boycott America because their funding goes directly to the Israeli military. Tell these youth to boycott America and all American goods. Sheikh Ali Nasser, he said, they'd be walking barefoot in the streets. They don't want to wear Primark trainers. They want to wear Nike and they want to wear Adidas and they want to wear Reebok and they want to wear Alf Lauren. They want to wear those garments. They want to wear those big American labels. They want to show off their iPhone. And this is a Samsung. But they want to show off their iPhone. Uh, they want to have their Apple phone. And they want, their, they want their Windows 8 on their computer. Go on then. Boycott Microsoft. Let's see how far you get. <laughs> boycott them. Boycott Amazon. Let's see how far you get. You boycott based upon a buffet. That's what they boycott. All right. And it's amazing. One of the brothers, he said the other day, he said, look how the masses are following them in this boycotting. He said, look how easily, without thinking how they follow them. Demonstrations, marches. It makes you understand how the Jal, when he appears, how the people are just going to follow him and fall over. 